23rd Vermont Maple Festival happening this weekend in St. Albans. Dozens of things are going on. Today was opening day. In just a few hours, things will start up again. Local 22's Devin Bates checked out all things maple. Hi, Devin. Well, Lauren, we saw just about every maple flavored thing you could imagine today. And for the dozens of Vermont businesses that make it happen, the festival is an annual tradition. Maple sugar, maple donuts, maple butter, you get the point. At the Vermont Maple Festival, a year's worth of planning amounts to one sweet weekend for St. Albans. You know, this event is really to celebrate the first agricultural crop of the season. You know, the festival's been going on for 53 years, you know, all volunteer based. And it's just, it's a lot of work, but it's, there's a lot of, you know, hopefully everybody gets a lot out of it. Even with hundreds of products already lining the tables, some spent Friday evening making more maple treats. We caught up with Kathy Brennan, who was whipping up icing for maple donuts. We cooked the syrup to 235 or 36 degrees. And then we cool it in ice in a nice tub. Then we scrape it into here. It's like taffy. And it creams the syrup until it's made into a spreadable maple. Annual attendance for the festival is an estimated 35,000 people, and with cooking contests and other competitions, it's a great opportunity for maple producers to make a splash. One of the things that the trustees um, try to do is to make sure that we have a nice representation of maple products from all over Vermont. It's really exciting to see all the great things that people do. There's nuts, there's peanut brittle, there's bread, there's salad dressings, there's barbecue sauces and rubs and... There's so many things that people do with maple now. Of course, one of the big draws here is all of the maple products at Maple Fest, but there's also an entire gymnasium filled with Vermont handmade crafts. And one vendor told us she'd like to see that as one of the highlights as well. A lot of very talented people here, a lot of really amazing handcrafting. A lot of them, are, it's their livelihood. And we do promote the Maple Festival with our business. Much to the disappointment of our anchors that did not bring back any maple candy, tomorrow there's events from 7 in the morning to 7 at night, including Sugar House Tours, Maple Beverage Tasting at 14 Star Brewery, and plenty of family-friendly fun. For the full schedule, you can click the link under this story on our website, myshamplainvalley.com. Live in studio, Devin Bates, Local 22 News.